If you search up Brooke Wells, a top level CrossFitter and fan favorite, you'll see her deadlifting, pressing, walking on her hands, and performing a myriad of events challenging fitness and strength. The sport of CrossFit knows no bounds when it comes to pushing the human body to its limits. But picture, if you will, the intense exertion of CrossFit combined with a delicate poise of tightrope walking while wielding a mighty axe. It's the kind of physical trial that would make any self-respecting competitor break a sweat in the Basque Rural Sports Pentathlon, which consists of shouldering a stone, dragging a massive block of rock, chopping logs while standing on top of them, farmers carry, and an endurance run. Makes me wonder how well a CrossFitter would fare in Basque Rural Sports. To test my curiosity, we went to Leitza to learn from the best. Woodcutting, or ice cold eats in Basque, is a highly respected precision power and endurance sport. It is one of the original rural sports that has even gathered thousands of spectators in an arena and just so happens to be one of the pentathlon events. There's multiple modalities to the sport, but for the most part, contestants race to cut through a set number of logs the fastest. What we're looking at is a crossfitter turned elite rural pentathlon champion, an unstoppable force in wood chopping. This is Nereya Aruti. Nereya, do, do you have a favorite axe out of these? I use it only for competitions, okay. not for training. So at the beginning, you should like uh, uh, stay in your in your feet, like. No? Oh. So like this. Yeah. And then with all your like uh, all your strength, yes. you should put it here. If you want to cut it like this way, you have to point it with your Point your feet yeah. that way, yeah. yeah. So you cut it like that and then you wow. and then repeat it and then to the other side. I want to cut it that way. I can uh, I put it like this. This way, my... Nereya just started training for all this a little over a year ago and has already become a champion woodcutter and pentathlon athlete. After she gave us a very detailed explanation of how to swing the axe properly, it was my turn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you should laugh. <laughs> you know what? Uh, let's switch. You, you, you're better for this, yeah. Come on. Go, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Nadei yeah. was clearly a precision and power machine, but still, our alpha dog energy was just yearning to show off what we could do. So we challenged her to see who could chop through more wood in 10 minutes. And remember, we are men. We were born for this. Practice too. <laughs> Watch your leg though. Don't take your time. Take your time. Take my time. <laughs> I'm I'm rushing slowly. Actually, cut through the wood. <laughs> Romark, you need to cut through the wood. You don't want to just hit the wood. I can't aim for the lines. I cut through the wood. You need to cut through the wood. That's the whole point. <laughs> Don't give up, dude. Don't give up. Four. Oh. All right, we, we, we got some good distance. Right, we got some good distance. That's gonna be hard to beat. Uh, I mean, we did really good. Uh, we started off slow, but we got our speed and rhythm down at the end. I think that's gonna be really hard to beat. Now. Watch the real master at work. On five minutes and she's on the other side. Under five minutes. And as you can remember on the first side, she started off for us. And she's already on this side. Amazing.
I think that she's part machine. She might be breathing, but I think she's acting because she doesn't slow down. Who's that idea? Oh! How much time? What was the time? 8.51! Yeah! The <laughs> victor! So, as you can see, we did almost nothing. <laughs> she just... by herself in 10 minutes. Finishing this challenge was eye-opening. Although I'd known that Aya cheated and only beat us due to superior skill and capability, it's incredible to take a moment and consider that she's used to maintaining this precision with full overhead swings to chop through two logs during a pentathlon, after exhausting herself lifting and dragging stones, then continues on to perform farmer's carries and running. How's that for a CrossFit event? Strength is often passed down from one generation to the next. Remember this man from last episode? Well, in this case, it was passed down from father to son and to daughter. Both Inyaki's children have taken up the mantle to continue contributing and growing the sport of Ari Yasotze. Where Renacio Pererena, Inyaki's son, took to stone lifting and earned a name for himself as being one of the only four men to have shouldered over the weight of two average gorillas, 300 kilos or 660 pounds, in the form of a rectangular stone. Maite, on the other hand, has taken another much needed approach to advancing the sport. That's Maite's father. This was his original vest that uh, he lifted stones in. So now Maite, his daughter, has built this entire shop off of uh, his works. Originally, they had to custom or go to like tailors or basically make these vests themselves. It was Maite's idea to then collaborate all that. A one moment, please. Surpresa. For me, stone lifting, it isn't um, only a sport. It's a family, yeah. it's a history, it's uh, a culture, it's a tradition. And I want to dress with one vest and say, we have a culture, we are strong, and um, I am proud with this. I think Atlas Stone One, that rectangular vest, uh, 20 hours, more or less because it's big. Yeah, it's very nice. With one hand, oh, okay. My father used five pieces, 12 meters belt, uh, and people, five. Iñaki Pejurena belt is very long. Yes, but it's necessary. Although nothing can replace years of practice, strength, and technique, I can't help but feel like a superhero wearing Maite's custom-tailored Aria Sote vest. Before lifting these stones, however, I want to know all the ins and outs. I want to see how they're made. Our next stop was to visit former champion stone lifter and now stone maker, Selai and his daughter, Carmele who's paving the way as a dominating force in stone lifting. This is uh, the nice stone making shop, carving, what would you call it? It was a loud environment. One wrong step and I could end up in a highly pressurized water jet stone cutting machine that looks straight out of a sci-fi. It was a lot to take in. But very quickly, we were able to appreciate the symphony of machine, man, and raw material coming together to create the traditional Basque stones we're coming to love. If you've seen Levantadores, you already know of Salai. He's top dog stonemaker and former champion stone lifter, known for breaking a 300 repetition barrier and lifting a 100 kilogram stone, the weight of an above average man, to the shoulder in 30 minutes and winning many competitions. 
Salai was telling us about how the modern rectangular stone is made from three pieces carved from one stone and glued together. Whereas in traditional methods and with his other shaped stones, everything is carved as one unit with no pieces glued together. Take notice, the cross. It's not exactly what you think it is. Although it used to have a religious connotation, nowadays the main purpose for it is to make sure the stones are centered so that the lifter doesn't lose track of hand placement. He also walked us through different sizes of what we know as atlas stones, but are called round stones by the Basque. Unlike strongman atlas stones, where we put lead or kettlebells in the center of a concrete mold to make them heavier, he uses different density rocks to carve these stones and achieve varying weights. Could this potentially be the origin of Atlas Stones? What do you guys think? The excellence doesn't end with the lie. His daughter, Carmela, has taken up her father's legacy and is now forging forward with victories. Yo soy Carmela Guisasola Sendika Selaya, eh, Selay Tercera. Vivo en el caserío Selay y soy, soy la hija de, de José Antonio Guisasola Selay. Something that fascinated me is that Salai, meaning something along the lines of countryside field, is the name that was given to the farmhouse before the family took on the property. Yo cuando era pequeña, mi padre me hacía eh, piedras pequeñas, mi madre me hacía chalecos, pero yo en aquel entonces no veía a mujeres levantar piedras. Luego ya empecé a los 22 años más o menos a levantar, ya sí que había más chicas, había chicas muy fuertes, diría yo, y, y pues yo empecé poquito a poco. Like with her father, she prefers to lift lighter stones done for longer periods of time. Carmel, I think she has the same genes as I, or similar. She suffers a lot, she suffers a lot. She doesn't like to train, she doesn't like to train. She trains, sometimes I think that it's almost too much, but today, with the stiffness that I see, that I didn't do it, and all the gymnastics, Eh, y toda la gimnasia y lo, eh, los entrenamientos que hace en el crossfit y fuera del crossfit y todo eso le están ayudando de momento a no tener lesiones. It was an exciting day to be visiting the farmhouse. My greatest passion in lifting the stones here is to gun for my best heavy rectangular stone lift. Although Carmela and Salai are highly decorated with many victories and trophies, just as with me, it's an alien lift for her one that she needs to nail down for a lifting exhibition in front of a crowd. It was now my turn to hone my skills and get my hands on some stones. Not too far from Zalai is Zaraut, home to the local stone lifting legend, Jose Ramon Iroreta Goina, AKA Iseta. We stop at his family restaurant with a gorgeous view overlooking the ocean. I, I swear I'm in the most beautiful place in the world. I cannot believe we, we we ended up coming inside to the restaurant and these guys brought us back here uh, and showed us how they're cooking meat. I just straight up want to move over here. So I'm just surrounded by beautiful mountains, this is restaurant and gym. It's like you got everything here that you need. The protein and the lifting, the incredible beauty. All right, and now we go just up here a little bit, up this hill after eating that incredible steak. They keep telling me the cubic stone is where it's at. Um, my hands are full of stuff. How does Roma do all this? This is awesome. There's goats here. But there's goats. But the but the goats. Could we do goat lifting? We lift the the goats. You know. Iseta's lifting space was small, orderly, similar to my gym in Los Angeles. All the various stone shapes, styles, sizes, beautifully arranged, made it feel as if I was entering a caveman toy store. Immediately, I felt at home and wanted to get my hands on them. So you just put oil underneath the shoulder pad here, because when the stone's here, this whole, this entire vest is going to slide back to allow me to shoulder better.
You strong man the crap out of that. Yeah. You strong man. <laughs> no good. Watching how my training partner Paolo moved to the stones gave me a glimpse as to the precision and repetitive flow the athletes here are capable of. They've truly taken stone lifting mastery to another level that's beyond even that of a top level strongman and how meticulous each detail of the lift is executed. There's a lot of comparisons that could be made with CrossFit and Strongman to the Bass Grill Sports. Across the board, they all demand a high level of physical prowess, community, and ingenuity. Where Nerea started with CrossFit and eventually mastered pentathlon events, Carmela began with rural sports and later adapted CrossFit training. Both had opposite journeys, yet both have made it to the top of their respective yeah. sports. In CrossFit and Strongman, we have the likes of Rogue to engineer our lifting equipment and SBD to supply us with neoprene sleeves and belts. The people here can have their stones built and refined by Zalai and vests tailored by Maite and her company 301K. Regardless of the sport, it takes a community, but none have their roots of strength as deeply interwoven with family, culture, and identity as I've seen here. And just a reminder, Strength Unknown shirts are on pre-sale now. Visit barbellapparel.com to get your shirt today. All the commissions help us fund our amazing trips around the world to discover strength unknown. Or, if you're feeling hungry, support my sponsor, Podium, and get yourself some protein powder. Now, for the preview.